Welcome back to Astrology with Ninad. In this video, I am going to discuss the 2023 annual horoscope for the fifth sign in the zodiac, which is Leo, known as Simha Rashi. My predictions are mainly based on your moon sign, which is Chandra Rashi, or Ascendant, which is Lagna Rashi, per Vedic astrology. When we look at annual forecast, we focus on the four major planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu and Ketu, because they stay in one sign for a long period of time. So they have a strong impact on each and every individual's life as compared to the other planets such as Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus, which keep changing signs very quickly. So let us first take a look at the position of these planets in the new year and then we will focus on the major areas of life. Starting with Jupiter. It will be in your 8th house in its own sign Pisces. But on April 22, it will finally transit to your 9th house in the sign of Aries and will be conjunct with Rahu. Looking at Saturn, it will transit from your 6th house to your 7th house in its Mool Tricona Aquarius from Jan 17 onwards and will stay there for the rest of the year. If we look at Rahu, the north node of the moon, it will be present in your ninth house in the sign of Aries for the first 10 months. But in the last two months of the new year, it will transit and be placed in your eighth house in the sign of Pisces. Similarly, Ketu, the south node of the moon, for the first 10 months will be placed in your third house in the sign of Libra. But in the last two months, it will be positioned in your second house in the sign of Virgo. So these are the key position of the four major planets in 2023. Now let us look at the major areas of life, starting with the career. In terms of job and profession, the first four months are going to be fairly slow, but the last eight months are going to be months of good progress and success for you because Jupiter will be finally placed in your destiny house, in your Bhagyasthan. So naturally, that indicates good growth and progress in your job and profession. If you were feeling stagnant, not getting the growth that you desired, then things will slowly start to change from May onwards. And the last eight months will help you to solidify your career prospects. For those people who don't have a job, I highly recommend keep applying and give lots of interviews because there is a strong chance you will land a good decent job with a strong salary and benefits package, especially after April end. As soon as Jupiter enters your ninth house. So your luck factor and destiny will strongly support you. And lot of people will start to get the recognition and respect and credit for the hard work and effort that they have been putting in their job for so long. And you will start to get better along with your co-workers and bosses at your workplace. If you look at business, then things are looking to be excellent throughout the year because finally the lord of your business house, Saturn, will be strongly placed in your seventh house all year long. So whether it is starting a new business, thinking of business expansion, getting into a business partnership, implementing any new business marketing strategies, ideas, the whole year is looking to be very supportive for the same. If we look at health, then you have to be careful throughout the year. Try not to ignore any acute health issues if something was to arise and make sure to get the proper treatment when needed. Getting regular wellness checkups would be beneficial. Also doing yoga, meditation, exercise will be helpful because the Lord of your 6th house, Saturn, although strongly placed in the 7th house, will be directly aspecting your ascendant which will fall on the strongest enemy sign Leo 
so you have to be watchful of your health but the good news is that when jupiter transits to the ninth house it will aspect your ascendant as well so be especially careful in health in the first four months of the new year because in the last eight months you will at least have the protection of dev guru brihaspati on your ascendant if you look at love life in terms of love and romance the first four months are going to be slow but the last eight months offer good promise for those single people hoping to find a comparable partner and get into a romantic relationship when jupiter transits to the ninth house it will aspect its own fifth house of love and romance which will fall on its mul trikona sagittarius so excellent news for those single people suddenly they might be able to find a comparable partner and get into a romantic relationship in the last 8 months of the new year and those people already in a love and romantic relationship the passion and romance will definitely be on the increase as the months progress towards the second half of the year if you look at finance then overall the financial flow is looking to be good throughout the year i do not see any major issues money will definitely keep coming your way because now saturn will be in a better position and also jupiter will transit to your ninth house of bhagya and destiny and even when it's in the eighth house it will keep aspecting your second house so overall the money flow will be there throughout the year so try to save as much as possible and avoid anything too risky when it comes to financial investments if we talk about education specifically primary education such as those students pursuing bachelors or high school then the first 4 months are looking to be strong and supportive to achieve good academic progress but in the last 8 months you will need to study really hard to be able to achieve any desired results because saturn will aspect your fourth house which will fall on enemy sign scorpio so students will need to put in lot of hard work and effort in the last 8 months if we talk about secondary education for those students pursuing phd or masters program or those who want to get admission to a college in a foreign country then the last 8 months are looking to be excellent and supportive and you might be able to finally get admission to the desired college as soon as jupiter transits to the 9th house and will be conjunct with rahu and even saturn will aspect the 9th house but since there will be presence of jupiter everything will be controlled and the 9th house will be strongly activated and will enable you to pursue your goal of achieving higher education next let's look at married life in terms of those single people who are wanting to get married there is good news finally things are looking bright on the marriage front and there is a chance you might meet a comparable partner and even get married in the new year because of the placement of saturn in your 7th house and also those people already married things are looking to be very harmonious and peaceful in your married life in the entire year of 2023 because saturn was earlier placed in the 6th house which probably was connected to a lot of arguments disputes but now finally it will be strongly placed in its own mul trikona in the 7th house which will protect married life to a great extent now finally let's look at travel in terms of long distance travels journeys vacations whether it is for leisure fun education business the last 8 months of 2023 are highly supportive for the same the first 4 months are not that supportive so try to make the best use of the second half of the year 
for your travel related purposes. So I believe I covered all the major areas of life starting with career all the way up to travel for my Leo Simha Rashi friends for 2023 New Year. So I hope you found this insightful. Thank you for watching and good luck.